and welcome to Headlines Today. I'm Anna and I'm Bettikard. Now, television serial makers these days have to deal with a lot of pulls. On the one hand, there's a certain section of the audience that feels that these shows shouldn't be overly melodramatic and should not be socially regressive. On the other hand, these very elements in shows are what sometimes make, give them mass popularity. With me on my show today, the stars of Manki Awaaz Pratigya, which seems to be managing a sort of balancing act right now. Thakur, Sajjan Singh and Krishna will join us later on the show. But for the moment, it is hello to Pratigya and Komal. That would be Pooja Gaur and Parvati Segal. Welcome to Headlines today. Hi. 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 Thank you. You work 24-7, don't you? Yes, we do. But then um, right now, uh, like we're, we're a little happy because of the 12-hour shift. So that's making us keep good. 12-hour shifts, okay. If I had a 12-hour shift, I would be protesting. <laughs> <laughs> no, we've been protesting it uh, when it was, like when we were shooting almost 18 to 20 hours a day. So, you know, of course, the workers and everyone did protest against. And then finally, we've come up to a, you know, 12-hour shift. Everyone seems to be working like this. Aren't you afraid that you're going to burn out? I am, but then uh, this is my very first show uh, when I'm doing the lead and this is where I have to outshine everyone and I have to do my best and I have to prove myself. So I'm putting almost everything and the best out of me. Manki Awaaz Pratigya, of course, has had amazing TRPs. What is it you think has worked so well with the audience? Uh, well, uh, first we had the uh, Saxena family, uh, which is her family. And uh, the serial was doing good that time. But then we needed to show the uh, male lead's family as well because they were supposed to get married. So uh, here we have the entry for the Thakurs. And uh, we have a basically a very weird family. And the um, difference between the two families means this is a soft family, the Saxenas. And the Thakurs are rude and harsh. So this contrast has basically uh, got the TRPs, I think. Yeah. yeah, but your character in the in the serial, let's go mm -hmm. yeah. is a is as you described her, rude, harsh, yeah. uncouth. Yeah. Did you find it hard to get into that character because off off screen you seem to be a very quiet and gentle person? Oh well, thank you so much for that. Uh, of course, my character uh, Komal is very uh, different on the Indian television because uh, you can't see any other. Bahu here, who is um, in gaudy makeup, red lipstick, two plates on her sari, abusing her husband, her in-laws, uh, talking rudely because she's been brought up in such an atmosphere at home behind her where she's seen her dad and her brothers killing people. She's seen her uh, mother being beaten, her bhabi being beaten. So when she's come to the Saxena household, she sees uh, respect of, uh, like between people and she realizes what love is. So this contrast and doing Komal for me was really difficult. But you know, um, I, Pooja, I, I do not understand this part of the serial. I find it a little illogical that Komal's character is brought up in a family where there is no respect for women. And then uh, she goes to her in her husband's house and she starts getting cheeky with everybody in a family where there is respect for women. That doesn't sound logical to me at all. When she entered the family, the Saxenas, she found it very weird. She, the, the bond, the relation that she had, that the family had within them, she found it very weird. And the way the morals and the principles that this family has, uh, she thinks it's illogical. Because, you know, it's just that there are some people in our society, unfortunately, who believe that unless you so then she will get out of control. Of so it seems to me that Komal's character in this serial is proving that point that, you know, because she's in a family that treats women well, therefore she's treating everyone in the family badly. Would you agree with me? Well, uh, that's right, because uh, when I came to the Saxenas, I was on a high. I was like, I'm going to rule this house because since uh, childhood, I've been my father's pet. My father used to call me a boy instead of a girl. So um, I'm on a high that, okay, I've come to this household where everyone's going to listen to me. So that's why I come here and I dominate people. And since people are listening to me and they're accepting my uh, behavior, so I keep on doing that. Isn't this then reinforcing this belief that so many people in our society have that if you don't keep the rest of she will go out of control because that's what Komal's character in the serial is doing. 
I think we are trying to make people realize that this is not what we need to put in practice. This is how, especially for the women of our country, that you know this is what you should protest against. Where I enter the uh, Sajjan Singh family and I prove uh, one point by just objecting uh, the whole practice in uh, Sajjan Singh house of dominance over women. You okay, know, you Pratik, your character of course is very clearly a strong woman, yeah. which is great. But what I'm saying is, doesn't Komal's character prove the belief that some people have that because she has not been dominated and she's not being put down in the Saxena household, she's taking advantage of her freedom and therefore women shouldn't be given that freedom. Uh, no, I don't think so because by behaving uh, like the way my family is behaving with her, they are even indirectly uh, trying to explain her that okay, we know that you are from such a family, but we and we are accepting it. But that does not mean they may they do try and make her realize that this is not how a woman uh, should you know behave. Or this is not the way how you should be behaving. But that's so, in a nice way what they're trying to yeah, teach Yeah, in a me, very nice way. Like by love, by respect. So they're trying to like make me a better person in a nice way. But don't you think, oh damn, my first show is so successful and why am I not a glamorous woman? Here I am with my two plaits and my bright red <laughs> lipstick. Well, I uh, used to think about this before. I really didn't like my look initially. Mm -hmm. But then uh, later on when people started liking me as Komal because I am really different from the other Bahus. Because no other uh, You're a mean Bahu. bahu. <laughs> I, I am a mean Bahu. You're I'm a, a bad I'm, Bahu. I'm, I'm a total mean Bahu. <laughs> I can do anything bad. So yeah, yeah uh, when people started liking me and like wo ladki hai, do choti wali, I'm like different from hmm. people. So I started liking my look. But I noticed that for my interview, you're not wearing that blood red lip lipstick and I was looking forward to the blood red ribbons in your plaits and the blood red sari. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, that's because uh, my look has changed a little in the show because uh, I want to really go close to my husband because he doesn't look at me in that red lipstick and those ribbons in my hair. So uh, since I want him to look at me at least, so I've done uh, this much effort. So that he can just have a glance at me at least. Okay. But one thing, huh, Pooja, that I haven't understood in these serials, even the ones that I really like, the women are so made up all the time. Even when you go to sleep, you're wearing makeup. Oh, I think that's because the television standards and the soap <laughs> standards have been set up like this and we've mm. just been following them. I mean, people expect that the bahus on screen are just not like the normal ones or the normal people. We need, I, I, I say this on television now, uh, if people can hear me out there, that uh, we need to have one show on television where we come very naturally. We have, I think, very natural makeup and very natural story going on. But you're addressing the audience on this show. If you want sleep with eyeliner for instance okay. you don't think the audience would accept that the audience will of course they will and uh, of course they will be uh, you know in a little confusion that why is she not having makeup why is she not having the eyeliner but yes people do want to not see the liner and not see the decked up Pratigya or maybe on some other show or the Bahu like that yeah so why don't you have you ever suggested this to your producers for instance, this sari that you're wearing. Yeah, uh, this sari is my night dress, I guess. Your I would night say it, dress? It, it is my night dress. This is my night look. I'll be, I was just shooting for that. I know that Thakur Sajjan Singh's family is very wealthy, but can't you wear a plain cotton nighty? I would ask for that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, wear a silk nighty. Uh, yeah, if it was in my hands. I yeah. would surely be doing okay, that. Okay, both of you should just protest because it's so hot in Bombay and this is how you have to dress all the time. I know. <laughs> Actually, it's just that everyone wants to see women pretty on screen. Huh. So, they have to be dressed like that. I, I, don't, but I don't understand one thing. Aren't women not pretty of course uh, they are. without of course the they are, decked up makeup and the sari, you know? They are. They are really pretty without the makeup and, uh, and even in a silk nighty, they look really pretty. But then... Such things have never been done by uh, like anyone. Yeah. Like it's not been started. Now we need someone who can start this trend yeah. of Bahu is wearing a night suit so that we can even follow up with that yeah, in our show. You're 19. Yeah. This is not your first serial, but it is your first serial in the lead role. What's yeah. the difference between Kitni Mohabbat hai, yeah, right? And the experience of being in a small role and the change now because you're the lead. 
the the difference there and here is that here of course the whole show is on your shoulder somewhere down the line you have a major responsibility of the show on your shoulders you have a lot of work to do you uh, as work is concerned i work for more hours more than 12 hours uh, uh, rather than other actors are concerned on my show and uh, i get more to experience more to perform what about the trappings of stardom do you now have a vanity van of your own did you not have one on kitni mohabbat hai mm. do you have your own makeup room now did you not have your own room in that serial there's no difference in the facilities and the treatment as such you don't get special treatment because you are pratigya if i ask for i would but i don't and i think i shouldn't even be asking for special treatment why i mean i am an actor i am an artist i come here i do my job and everyone here is an artist just because you're lead i don't think so you should be demanding for special treatments if you want to and uh, if they give samne say it's well and good it's sone pe suhaga but i don't think so you need to ask for thakur yeah. sajjan singh's character is like a very frightening kind of person the whole fierceness of his demeanor on the serial yeah therefore were you intimidated with by him when you started acting with him as a person you know as a co star yeah of course my first shot with him where i had to like talk to him and stuff i was like oh god he's that one i've seen him in films and you know he really uh, looks kind of a you know a fierce person basically yeah. from his face from his looks from his eyes and his one look is like you're gone गलत टेक दिया तो थप्पड़ मारेगा बट थैंकफुलिंग पार्वती एंड पूजा ऑन द शो राइट नाउ आर कृष्णा एंड ठाकुर सज्जन सिंह फ्रॉम द सीरियल दैट इज अरहान एंड अनुपम जी वेलकम टू हेडलाइंस टुडे Arhan yeah. uh, you know Pooja has just told me that this thing you're wearing in the serial is supposed to be your night dress Yeah this is my night wear <laughs> You guys don't slum it out in the serial right <laughs> Actually Krishna is quite comfortable wearing this thing uh, this this stuff and um, this is what we get to wear so I think it looks good इतने अमीर है कि पजामा प्लेन पजामा पहनने का मन नहीं करता नहीं करता बट ये जो सीक्वेंस है वो चुभते नहीं है रात को जब आप सो रहे हैं नहीं हार्डली टेन मिनट्स का शॉट होता है लेकिन मैं अरहान से ये सवाल नहीं पूछ रही हूँ मैं कृष्णा से सवाल पूछ रही हूँ हाँ कृष्णा ही जवाब दे रहा है एक्चुअली चुभते नहीं चुभते ऐसा वैसा कुछ हुआ नहीं कृष्णा के साथ अभी ठाकुर साहब जी अनुपम Don't you sometimes feel bad about how bad you are with your poor bahu on the show? I'm proud of my dad. <laughs> <laughs> But you're supposed to be in love with her. जो एक orthodox attitude होता है कि ठाकुर परिवार की बहु है और हम तुमको यहाँ ब्याह के ले आए हैं बेटे की खुशी के लिए लेके आए हैं तो औरत की सीमा दहलीज के अंदर बेटे का ब्याह प्यार के लिए प्यारा है बेटा सब में इसकी खुशी के लिए हमने ब्याह दिया दूसरी कास्ट में मैरिज की यह कम है ठाकुर सज्जन सिंह के लिए तो भाई फिर अब मेरी बात मानो नहीं मानोगी तो शठे शाठ्यम समाचरे शठ के साथ फिर शठ होना पड़ेगा और मुझे तुम बहू हो इसकी बीवी हो मुझसे कोई मतलब नहीं मुझे सिर्फ यही डर हमेशा बना रहेगा ऐसा नहीं ससुर घर जो वही भी बन जाए तो मुझे तो इसको पकड़ के रखना है बेटा साम दाम दंड भेद कहीं नहीं जाने दूंगा तो ये एक सज्जन सिंह और बहू की आपस की ये केमिस्ट्री है यू नो अरहान दिस इज अ क्वेश्चन आई हैव फॉर यू एक्चुअली बिकॉज़ नहीं मेरा मेरा जवाब सही रहा हाँ हाँ आपका जवाब बिल्कुल सही रहा बाकी बाकी ऐसी कोई दुश्मनी नहीं है ए तेरा लंच रखा है मेरे पास अब लंच बता दो क्या है There is there was this episode in the serial where Pratigya has been had was kidnapped by Angad, right? And um, Krishna thought that Angad must have either seduced you or raped you, right? Yeah. Now, why did Pratigya's character feel the need to convince him that she is still pavitra? Should the question to him not have been that if that man misbehaved with me, why is it my fault? Why are you holding it against me? I think uh, actually uh, he was uh, angry with her because uh, she did not tell him about this thing which had happened before marriage or even after marriage. His point is that she had hidden this fact from him. Is that the only reason? What if it had turned out that Angad had seduced her or that he had raped Pratigya? Well, that's wrong on Krishna's part. He should have uh, 
trusted Pratigya since he loves her so much. But then, uh, since we are uneducated, the Thakurs, so mm. we need proof for everything that, okay, she is not touched by like any other man. Probably she's just mine. So, you know, such people uh, have it in their mind that the girl should be pure. It was just not... Seemit Soch. I can understand that Thakur Parivar is in the same way of thinking about it. But I can't understand why Pratigya didn't say that if that person has been doing me with me, how did this happen to me? No, because this is our society's first belief. You can think that in this society, if a woman is in a situation like this, you know, if she has to undergo such a situation where she is harassed, or when see Pratigya was Eve teased by someone or she was harassed by, you know, she was just kidnapped by Angad. In our real life or in our society, this is happening, so people blame the woman and the woman is the bad name. The person, the man, 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 I think Bhagawan, देवता जब हमारे देवता और दानव हमारे सतयुग था तब से होता आया है क्योंकि जब रामायण राम भगवान और सीता जी का वक्त था तब भी सीता जी को एक अग्नि परीक्षा यू नो देनी पड़ी थी ना ही राम भगवान राम भगवान ने भी सवाल किया था उन्हें विश्वास तो था पर सोसाइटी ने अपोज किया सोसाइटी ने सवाल खड़े किए उसी एग्जैक्ट सिचुएशन में कृष्णा था Krishna wanted to trust and believe in what Pratigya was telling him and giving a clarification and she even protested that I am not supposed to give you a clarification on this, you need to trust me, you should trust me. But the society and people around as in Sajjan Singh Ka Parivar and everyone used to provoke him to not believe. But Krishna's point was, uh, what was the need to hide? Like even Was that his only point? One of Why did you lie? No, that was one of the one points. Of the, point, yeah. the other point was also, did he touch you? Yeah, yeah. Yes. And if he That's touched what, you, then you are me. impure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he started believing. But then this is a serial that is about mentality. women's rights, na? Abhi sir ne kaha soch. Haan. Sab kuch wohi hai. Main ek chiz kahun. Ji, batayye. Pratigya. Ji. Maithri Sharan Gupt ki ek do line hai. Ki abla jeevan hai tumhari yahi kahani. Aachal mein hai doodh aur aankhon mein paani. Lekin... उसको तोड़ के आज प्रतिज्ञा जो है अबला नहीं है वो सबला होके रिप्रेजेंट कर रही है तो पढ़ी लिखी है तो लॉजिकली ये अपना क्लेरिफिकेशन देगी धोबी के बात सुन के रामचंद्र जी ने उनको वनवास दे दिया था तो कम से कम इतना कान का कच्चा तो नहीं है कम से कम हमने सामने पुष्ट तो ले रहा है वो क्लेरिफाई तो कर दे रही है तो कम से कम यहां तो यह सबला तो है तो आप कह रहे हैं कि समाज में इतनी तो प्रगति आई आई है क्योंकि ऐसा है कि सीरियल्स में आप लोग समाज में जो वास्तविकता है वो तो आप दिखाई दे रहे हैं लेकिन आपको ये भी तो दिखाना चाहिए कि समाज में क्या होना चाहिए इसलिए मैं पूछ रही हूँ फिर से कि प्रतिज्ञा ने कृष्णा से ये सवाल क्यों नहीं पूछा कि अगर उस आदमी ने मुझे छुआ भी होता तो मेरी गलती कहाँ है अब ये तो इन लोगों का आपस का रोमांस था ये जाने मैं तो मैं तो बात था बेटे ने कहा शादी कर दो कर देते हैं All right okay I tweeted this interview and viewers have sent in some questions Rebel says Pooja how much time does it take you to do your makeup Exactly 15 minutes Exactly 15 minutes not a single you know even a minute more or less And then putting on the sari and all of that when I come on set, I am ready exactly within half an hour. With sari, with makeup, with air, everything. Okay. Hetika Sanghani says, um, in the serial, what exactly are Krishna and Pratigya's educational qualifications? I think it's uneducated. I think Pachi Pass is Pachi Fail. I'm confused, yeah. And what about Pratigya? Pratigya is a graduate from, uh, you know, she has done her Ilhabad University. From She's done her graduation from Lucknow. Yours truly Khaja says, My mom wants to tell Krishna that the way he supports his wife when his family is against her is amazing. In real life, do you or would you do the same? First of all, I don't think I would let her get into such a situation. But if it happens, yeah, definitely. And Anupam, I have a question for you before you wind up, which is that um, there was a point in the serial in which Pratigya had decided she wants to help Krishna con continue his studies. Am I right? Yeah. 
okay now i don't know what has happened to that track but i wonder whether that track will become prominent again in the serial and will thakur sajjan singh allow krishna to study if pratigya wants him to ab padhne ki umar gayi ab gad diya hai ab kamane ki umar hai chal ke theka dekho hai to thakur sajjan singh nahi manenge nahi wo nahi manenge bechari pratigya बेचारा कृष्णा वो कम से कम अपना नाम तो लिख ले ठीक से लिखने की जरूरत क्या है इतना धन दौलत बचा हुआ घर में <laughs> उसको सिर्फ खर्च करना है खर्च करे बस चलिए तो हमें मालूम पड़ गया कि अगर प्रतिज्ञा ने कोशिश की तो ठाकुर सज्जन सिंह नहीं मानेंगे हम नहीं सुधरेंगे बट ऑल ऑफ यू थैंक यू सो मच फॉर ज्वाइनिंग मी ऑन दिस शो एंड ऑफकोर्स कंग्रेचुलेश सक्सेस ऑफ प्रतिज्ञा Thanks. Well that's it from me on this show do send me your feedback on twitter.com/anavetica after the break the news is coming up stay with us